Hello guys and welcome back to Stellaris Synthetic Dawn playing, playing as the Nidox Horde. So let's continue. We are about to, well, win ish soon. Uh, research. And let me see. You are down there. No, you're going. Right, you're preparing for war against the Transaurus. That's right. Alright. Max speed. Uh, you're not building. Stuff. You as well. Interesting. Oh, what now? Oh, here. Uh, that's the Berman one, right? Yes. Bonk. Didn't that fix it? Uh, yes, it did. Okay. Alright, close this again. Okay, so you're in position to attack, so let's go to war. Team up. Yoink. <coughs> Excuse me. Still a bit under the, under the weather. Uh, Tharam. Enim. Eltheol. Lytherin. Uh, Isom. Yes. Take their capital. T E I E. T E I. Uh, Senegawa. Or whatever it's called. Oh, it's pretty damn close that we can eat them in one go. Orgleon. Uh, too bad. Confirm. We will annihilate the others. Yes, we will annihilate the others. You are indeed correct. Voice in the sky. Yes. The Tronsaru Junction eradicated the cruel organics who once enslaved us. If you share their intentions, you will meet the same end. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, you're still bombarding. Very nice, very nice. Our construction is complete. Okay, turn all this off. We will study its, constru its construction. That's the word. The bird is the word. Okay. Build this. Build. I don't know. This different junk. Oh, who's this? The Huskos. Yeah, a bit too late, Husko. Go here. Excellent. Right, we also war with these guys. Hmm. But, oh well, they will survive until the next truce. I want to be able to build Titans, Paradox, and Dreadnoughts, and Battle Cruisers, and all that junk. And I want organic ships, and I want to be able to ram ships, and I want. To be able to build big monsters and stuff like that. Come on, make it happen, Paradox. I am looking very fo much forward to the next Cherry update. I think those changes will be very good for the game. Well, I hope. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. It sounds good, on paper at least. <laughs> yeah, soon. Our glorious icon or sigil would be in the middle. I wish we could exp exp explore this black bit of space. But we need like a sentry ray before that uh, will go away. Or be explored, I guess. Okay, almost done here. Let's check over here. Things are looking fine. Attack. Fine attack. Time is going 
very slowly compared to the new let's play we just did. Of course, at the start of the game, things run very, very fast, only very fast, <laughs> oddly enough. <laughs> okay. But later on in the game, a bit laggy. As in very much. Okay, got 14 points for that. That's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. 14 and a half, nice. Soon we can use more navies to help attack. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess after this war and the contingency is gone, we'll probably go to war against the Huskos here. Mm, the main fleet is right over here. Oh, that would be a good time to attack them with the main fleet. Yeah, positioned at our own fleet. Well, the majority of our fleet, I guess. They're very good at very long range, the Fallen Empires, or Awakened Empires for that matter. Our construction is complete. Well, this should end very, very soon. Yep. Okay. Going down there, excellent. <coughs> Might finish this let's play in this um, well uh, session. Might not. Depends. Okay. Now, great day for the galaxy. The end. Of the, the end of the contingency. The contingency has failed. With the destruction of the last machine world, the galaxy no longer faces the threat of systematic mass extinction. All surviving contingency warforms have either powered down or self-destructed, and the ghost signal is no longer being transmitted. As with the other machine worlds, the main nexus detonated itself in the massive antimatter explosion when it became apparent that it could no longer resist its attackers. Traveling outwards at light speed, the intense light from the energy discharge will be visible to future generations for millennia, for millennia to come as a bright short-lived star. Across the galaxy, sapient beings are united in the celebration of this great victory. For the moment, at least, the future looks bright. Eh, not sure about that. Oh. Oh, there we go. Splat. Alright. Should we... I'm tempted just to declare war on the Huskos now to kill their fleet. But I think we'll wait a bit, actually. Okay, you can go... Here. And you can go... I don't know. Can you go down here? Yes, you can. Good. Uh, good. Okay, both of you go here. <laughs> Build that. Okay, so mopping up period. <coughs> we have surveyed the system. Our construction is complete. <laughs> we never finished the first leak here. <laughs> oh, what this? Uh, take this. Go here. Uh, okay, the main fleet. Attack. Go away. Oh. Oh, it's fully stacked, or will be. At some point. Sure. Good job. Embark. Pause. Right? Yes. Just lag. Follow. Uh, go here. Hmm. Okay. Stuff to the vermins. Bonk, bonk, no. Close, do this. Mm, okay, we need to kill this. We'll use this fleet, right? No, we won't. Uh, or will we? Uh, it's this fleet? Yes, yes. Go up here, crush uh, this. You're there and you're there, okay. Go 
here. Okay, you're going to fight that. Go away with this. Okay. <laughs> Do we still have a lot of plants we haven't explored or systems? Okay, I think we should probably kill all of them before they can escape. Yes, good. Okay, uh, we'll go down here now then. <coughs> Excuse me. Attack, attack, attack. Go in with this. Come on, you got them laggy piece of junk. Imagine how fast these Stellaris games would be if they didn't lag so much at the at the end game. <laughs> oh well. Uh, right, go down here to Ronobirium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our construction is complete. Uh, who's fighting over here? Uh, yes, I think. No, guess it's over. Was it here? I'm probably here. Anyways, let's look here because it's time to attack their home world. If you can call it that. We have surveyed the system. Need to sneeze in a moment. You can feel it. <coughs> God damn it. Uh, I always get a bit sick here with this weather we're having in Denmark. Cold and wet. Ugh. Very dull and droll. Go here. <coughs> God damn it. <sighs> okay, how's things looking here? <laughs> looking just dandy, I guess. Mm. Okay, you're fighting there. Okay. <sighs> Attack. Our construction is complete. A new nest is born. New nest is born. Was that a habitat, maybe? Hmm. I don't know. Enemy nest taken. Embark. Okay, uh, right. Go down here, I guess. Okay, are you finally moving down here? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's build a few more ships. Okay. <laughs> we will study its construction. Right, <coughs> excellent. <coughs> Our construction is complete. Research. Okay. Interesting. Living, me living metal. Well, 
we have plenty of everything really so okay attack now mm, we want this planet and maybe one more it should do it I think hopefully okay and splat almost splat 85 yeah follow uh, I don't know go down here okay you're fighting there Okay, you're already bombarding. <laughs> yes, investigated. Our construction is complete. Uh, what a waste. Greenhouse effect. Or whatever it said. And attack now. <laughs> uh, right, build this. You will build this. Okay, let's see if this is enough. Hopefully. Ah, 99. <laughs> okay, follow here. Um guess you're next in line here. Well, did we need 100? Yes. Now it's fine. <laughs> Planetary infestation begun. Bark. Follow and now demand stuff. Give me all your junk. Come on. Best possible outcome. I am in total agreement. On pause. Bonk. <laughs> Turn on sectors. Alright. <coughs> no need to do all this again. Uh, Gronium, that's a new one. Right. Terraform. Desert. Hmm. Okay. Have some free slots here. Hive mind. Yes, you have regrown. Pop. Okay. Here. Terraform. Mm, desert. Okay. Free slots here. Excellent. We'll take one from Iota Colony. Just whatever. Go here. Settle. Okay. Hebrarium. Uh, hey, yes. Clues. Terraform. Desert. Go here. Resettle. Nope, wrong one again. I'm used to getting it over here. I'm not sure why they've swapped now. Oh, oh well. Go here, we settle. Wonderful. This one. Didn't we already have? Oh, they have same name here. Mm, there's a pop by the ground. That's probably us. Go 
here, we settle. Okay. Here, desert, we settle. Go here. Okay, that was a very small planet. <laughs> Desert, we settle. Go here, we settle. Okay, here. Uh, desert. I could almost do this in my sleep. Almost. <laughs> okay, it's just so we actually keep the worlds when all of the people die here or get eaten. Uh, of course, if I was like some kind of xenophile empire, I wouldn't care who was on the planet. But here I have to, because they will be eaten. Oh well, just any other empire that doesn't eat or kill every pop they gain. <laughs> There's a... Uh, Oh wait, it's already a desert. Oh nice. Standard node? Yes. Go here. Okay, that was all of the new worlds we gained. So time to give it to stuff. I think it's going to vermin brood all of it actually. Yes, it is. Very loyal brood we have here. Oh, you didn't... Uh, oh right. Keep exploring. Uh, vermin brood, vermin brood. Here we go. That's it, right? Uh, yes, close. All right. Go away with all this junk. We'll keep our navies down here for just a little while until we've actually built a defense force. So, right. So now we have a truce with the Transaros and these Jokers up here. So next goal is, of course, the Huskos. But let's just wait for tiny bit of, like, uh, defense force here. Uh, let's see. Yeah. We want maybe five or six, I guess. Then we can move up towards the Huskos and remove them, and then at that point, hopefully the truce will be nearing its end. Yeah, 37. Yeah, so 10 years. Uh, probably not, but we'll see. Probably in the next episode we'll end uh, this. Yeah, I don't think I can do that in seven, eight minutes here. The the uh, the uh, remainder. Oh, they made them a satellite. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't change its truth, does it? No. Hey, congrats, uh, Hoskos! You now own the entire galaxy. Well, almost. <laughs> Too bad your decadence is capped at seventy-five percent. Oh, back lagging. Right, yeah. So, yeah, they have what? 130k maybe in total if they combined. So, we should be fine, even if we attacked here, I guess. With their. Well, they don't really have that many military stations, just this one. Hmm, okay. So, we should be fine. Research. Oh, wait, what? This is the only one who is rebellious. Hmm, I thought these kind of things down here were rebellious as well. No? Why not? Pops. Is that because some of these are. Ah, okay. Hmm. 
construction is complete. Okay, well, no reason to wait f wait for that then. All right, all right. So let's see here. We want to come from the north. Well, we will actually be transported in here, all of us. But <coughs> I think we'll come from the north regardless. You go here as well. And combine with the Devouring Swarm if you can. It might be too big of a fleet, but we'll try. Probably is. <laughs> we'll give it a go. We might even start this war uh, in this episode. Depends on how fast they can travel. in minerals. Should we build more? Yeah, sure, why not. We need to invade another galaxy anyway, so <laughs> in our role-playing minds, we need a big fleet, big high fleet. Our construction is complete. Okay. There yet? No. Come on. We have found an Research. <laughs> so let's just check here the borders. We do have everything under our well, well borders, I guess. <laughs> under our borders? No. But yes. Lies within Nidox Hall space. Yeah, it is. It's just we haven't explored it, so that's why it's so black here. <laughs> Oh right, tech. Totally forgot about that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Bit late. Mega engineering. Hmm. Oh well. Ah, take it. Sure. Whatever. So new armor. I don't really care about that, to be honest. Too much of a mess. What is it? I'm not doing anything. Well. All right. Ah. Habitat. So are you actually building stuff here? You are. Okay, good. Our construction is complete. Yes, how wonderful. <laughs> let's collapse this terraforming thing. Don't really need that. Uh, let's see. This fleet is almost there. Interesting. <coughs> 130 k ish, and with this, yeah, 140 if they combined. Okay. Can you build another one? No, not here. Well, what about here? Yes. Go here. No. Let's build it here. We uh, right. Colonize. Yeah. Let's just take this one. Spaceport. Colony ship, go. Let's check the time. Okay. Ending in a minute or so. Let's see if we can start this war. Okay. Almost there. <coughs> Go here. And you should be here. Now, go here. I said go here. We have cleared a new nest. I don't think we can combine these two. It might be well. It depends on the ships. Actually, not on the on the military strength. So you could have five hundred battleships and still make it one fleet. It's a bit odd way they cap the fleets. It should maybe be military sizes. I don't know. Hopefully they'll redo this whole system with Doomstacks in the upcoming Cherry update. I think they will. They at least talked about it. So, I always thought about they should give some something like a static uh, malice or whatever it's called debuff 
once your fleets become at least 100k, um, or uh, that was also be more relevant if you combined or have two fleets of 100k fighting in the same battle. So everything over 100k, you would get something like a minus two evasion or fire rate or something like that to to uh, to signify that. Um, that you have such a large fleet in the same area, so it's difficult to um, hit the enemy, and you fire more uh, carefully, so you don't hit your own um, like ships, and you you evade more poorly because well you have so many ships uh, close to each other, and that debuff should go up the more you get above 100k, even in a battle. So if you had one battle with a 100k versus 100k when no one had uh, a malice, but the other one took a one another fleet with 100k in, you will of course get the um, get the debuff. Okay, that was a lot of talking. Uh, right, let's just start this war and um, see. Oh, ah, really? I can only do independence. I can't seed. No, <laughs> forgot about that. Alright, so <laughs> I have to cut the episode here, so thank you for watching, leave a like, comment or subscribe, enjoy this content. Very much appreciate your support and hope to see you next time. Bye.